Hello. Today we will see how to configure Taiga with GitHub. So if you're new to Taiga, it's a, a pretty pretty cool uh, story management tool. Uh, you basically commit something uh, onto your GitHub repo, um, and you use uh, some specific type of commit messages, and they change the status of a particular story over here. So in your commit message, you have to basically uh, tell uh, GitHub which story you are updating and uh, what is the status that you want to uh, push it into. So for example, if we see this number three test, uh, number three use, user story, uh, test git webhook, it's in status new. Now we will uh, set up the entire pipeline so that if we make any commits, uh, this status can change to whatever new status we want it to be in. Okay, so uh, let's quickly see where we can find these uh, uh, settings. I need to go to admin. So you have to be an admin user uh, of Taiga for this to work. Um, go to integrations, go to GitHub. And when you go to GitHub, you will see that there are a uh, couple of things available to you. Uh, which is the secret key and the payload URL. So first you need to copy this payload URL. And then you move over to your GitHub repo. So I'm already signed in, so I have my uh, GitHub account all set up. I will move over to settings. Here you will see an option for webhooks. So just go to webhooks. Now, in my case, I've already set up uh, this Taiga integration, but for the purpose of this video, I will just add another and show you how to do it. Now, the payload URL goes here that I have already copied. I move back, I copy the secret key. Here goes the secret key. And then make sure you change the content type to application JSON. If you do this and then click Add Webhook, um, GitHub will run a small test. It will send a um, a test payload and it will verify if the um, the target is responding with the correct uh, HTTP code and all that. Plus, additionally, you can set this up as well. So, if you want to um, uh, define which notifications you want to get, so you can choose just the push events or um, everything that happens or you can select individual events. For my purposes, I just go with send me everything. Okay. So I'm not clicking on add webhook because I already have it. If I go back to webhook, okay. go to webhooks. If everything has worked fine, then you will see a green tick mark over here. If anything is wrong, you will see uh, a, a red uh, X over here and some message as to why it didn't work. Okay, so with that we are all set. Now let's uh, let's make some changes in our repo, commit it, and see how things work. So I'm going to move over to my code section over here just to see that the uh, commit messages are going. I've already been playing around with it, so you will see some older commits. But I'm just going to make a few changes and push a new commit. So here I am. I have changed the text here. I'm going to add some more. Save it. Now this is the only file in the repository for the moment. Um, in an actual repo, you will obviously have a lot more files. Okay, I'm going to close it down. And then check its status. Oops. Right. Commit. Now here is where the magic happens. So like I mentioned, uh, we have to specify a a, a message. Uh, it, the message has to be in a, in a particular format for GitHub to push this notification to Tiger. So the format for that is um, the the tag, uh, the, the ID of your of your issue. So in our case, it is. As you can see, if I go back to backlog, it's uh, 
test case, uh, I mean, it's use case three. So that's uh, going to be the, the, the ID that I need to send. So it's going to be dg hyphen three, and then hash. And what is the new status that I want this story to be in? Now, there are a bunch of options available here. For example, new, ready, in progress, done, and all that. Let's say that we want to change it to ready. So I'm going to say hyphen hash ready and commit and push. Okay, so over here I should have the, uh, yep. So now I have the, uh, I have the commit ready here. Let me go back and see if the status has changed. There. As you can see, now it has changed to ready. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can make sure that any commits to your GitHub repo is going to change the status uh, here in the, in the Taiga UI. Thanks for watching.